Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Phoenix Raceway Xfinity Series Garage. It's Championship Saturday. It feels like forever since I shot a video like this, but today is a very special day. Today is the day out of the groove goes racing with JD Motorsports and Brennan Poole. That's right, we sponsored a full NASCAR Xfinity stock car. I've only caught glimpses of the car so far, haven't gotten to see it at speed on the racetrack. Qualifying is in roughly an hour or so. I will try to answer some questions as we go throughout the day. I know many of you are probably asking, Eric, how on earth did you manage to sponsor a race car? The short answer is it's complicated. The medium answer is I've made a lot of friendships, great partnerships over the last few months, couple of years. And that allows me to do some things that otherwise would likely be impossible. Is your wrist going to be sore before qualifying, Brennan? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I, I, I've had some practice. I started practicing this since when I was five. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah. yeah. Muscle memory. Uh, yeah, muscle memory. <laughs> Xfinity Series cars are lined up, whoop, and engines are beginning to fire for qualifying just moments away. Ladies and gentlemen of the Groovy Gang, may I present to you the out of the groove Chevrolet Camaro. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the white wheels. Everything's getting warmed up in time for qualifying. Brennan, as you can see, being loaded into the car. This is exciting. The moment is here. Qualifying is up first. This is gonna be my first time seeing the car make a lap at speed. Oh, this is so crazy. All right, Brennan's on track. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, woo! <laughs> Engine sounds good. Humming. Woo! All right, what was that? Track record? Probably a track record? Maybe the fastest lap in NASCAR history? I don't know, no, a P3 on the board so far. We're in the show. We're in the show. Nice job. Kept it out of the wall. Kept the car yellow, not blue. That's most important. Mom, you haven't been to a race in 15 years. What do you make of NASCAR? This is a whole lot more fun than the one I went to 15 years ago. <laughs> not, not an Indianapolis fan? Well, I wouldn't say that. I just didn't get to do all this fun, special stuff. That, I was just sitting in the stands. You, you, really you didn't cool. get the yeah, you didn't get the sponsor treatment. No, no that, that's fair. This that's is fair. Awesome. That's awesome. Dad, sponsor awesome. treatment's awesome. Yeah. We got Rudy's barbecue sponsoring this week, food sponsor, catering here in the holler for lunch. One of the perks, I guess, of being a, a part of the team for the weekend is you get you get lunch, catered. <laughs> Finished up lunch, cup qualifying is going on, so the Xfinity cars are sleeping. There she sleeps, for now. Solid qualifying effort, Brennan said it was really loose, but expects it to tighten up over the long run, so hoping for a solid effort today. Dad taking photos, official watching him closely. <laughs> A lot of y'all have asked me, Eric, what do you hope to get out of sponsoring this car? And well, yes, I kind of promoted it as like, hey, let's try to get over the 200,000 subscriber milestone. Like for me, this is just something cool. In my opinion, a lot of the value that comes from sponsoring a race car like this really comes from how you, the sponsor, choose to activate it. So for me, I'm able to use this car for content. We've got these crew shirts, t-shirts. We got a die cast made as a result. You get to bring family to the track and, and make it an experience. There's a lot of sponsors in that NASCAR that just, just want to come to the racetrack, just want that VIP treatment. I don't know marketing terms, but like when FedEx sponsors a car each week, they just want that brand recognition. Others may just want to treat some of their employees or clients to a really cool weekend. And then sometimes people just do it because it's cool. And that's kind of where I fit in here. Is I've been a lifelong race fan. I've always dreamed of having a major role, a major part in this sport. And when the opportunity was presented to me to get my logo on a real race car for a affordable, a reasonable price, something that I was okay signing off on, I, I had to take it. Like it's just, I may never get this opportunity again. It's fun for me, it's fun for my family. Like I said, I think it's fun for you guys watching at home. The comments you guys have left to me have made this whole investment, this whole venture worthwhile. But again, sponsoring a NASCAR race car means something a little different to every single company and to every single race team. So it's, it's hard to give like a, a clear, concrete answer when people ask like, well, why'd you sponsor a car? What do sponsors get out of it? To me, it's a lot of how you activate it. I hope that makes some amount of sense. Anyway, it's pretty surreal sitting here in the garage, not a lot of people around, just looking down this row of recognizable race cars and knowing that there is a black and yellow car with my logo, with my face on it, in the bunch. That is pretty surreal. 
Cup Series qualifying is winding down, which means the Xfinity race, pre-race ceremonies are on deck. God, that is so ridiculous. I don't know why nobody stopped me. <laughs> I'm constantly afraid I'm gonna mess something up, but wow. Many of y'all have asked why I chose to put my face on the hood instead of just the Out of the Groove logo by itself, and the way I see it, the first time you ever come across one of my tweets or one of my YouTube videos, you're always gonna see this profile picture. So I'm hoping that if you're up in the grandstands or watching at home on television and you see this on a race car, the next time you then go on Twitter or YouTube and you see that same picture, you might be like, Hey, I think I saw that on a race car. I should click on it. I should watch this video or maybe follow on Twitter. I guess that's what my thought process was. It's kind of absurd though. I realized that. <laughs> and it wouldn't have been possible without the help of many sponsors. Many of them have been with Out of the Groove for a long, long time sponsoring episodes of my show. Mac Door Systems, one of Brennan's partners, stepping up in a huge way. Really appreciate their support. And the Groovy Gang, the first 250 who pre-ordered the die cast have their names here on this rear deck lid. Shout out to you guys, I, I, this is insane. Appreciate you being such a good sport and, and wearing this ugly mug on your shoulder. I think that's the coolest part of the car. That's my favorite part. <laughs> you're too kind, you're too kind. Last car we're seeing on our way out. They haven't loaded it back up yet. This is insane. I love all the details. I love the door handles. Look inside. You know, now that it's raced, I guess we can at least touch it. I'm not gonna poke around too much, but wow. Some of the tape has been peeled off. You can see, so you can see some of the right front damage. I didn't actually see where he sustained it. I assume there was a bunch of wrecks he was trying to dodge. He probably ended up rear-ending somebody trying to dodge a wreck. But it looks super good. Finish the race. I think uh, P29, I believe, for Brennan. Solid stuff. Battled all day. Car looked great. Got that little piece of tape like that went across like my chin on the hood. What an experience. Uh, I have so many people to thank, um, from JD Motorsports to Brennan himself for playing along, for being a good sport, for bringing us on board. Um, AE Engine, Craig Baroncelli, the whole team over there for getting lots of partners involved so that we could make this happen. <sighs> My family for coming out. Like I said, I think I said in this video, my mom hadn't been to a race in like 15 years. <laughs> I think she had a good time. I know my dad did. Just pretty crazy. I started this show my freshman year of college because I didn't have any race fans to talk to. I wanted to make connections somewhere in the online racing community. I wanted to be a part of the conversation. And to see where the show has grown, to see we're on the racetrack racing and the NASCAR championship race, I, I don't know, I just never, never would have thought it was possible. So. It wouldn't be possible without all of your support. So for that, I want to say thank you for that, for watching this video, and for being a part of the journey. I, y'all are the best. This is a good time. Maybe we'll do it again next year. Who knows? Yeah.